I'm introing the vlog. It's Sunday. Uh, today we're heading off. We've got a big day. We're going to do the more historical sites here in Seoul. So we're going to uh, Gyeongbokgung Palace and the Pukchon Hanok Village. And we're going to walk around Insadong. And this is all fairly, relatively close to each other. But first we got to go get coffee. This is where we're going to get coffee this morning. This place has a similar vibe to all the stuff we're going to be going to. Historical vibe. Comes with snacks. All the things I can't eat. This is cute. from the gluten-free bakery yesterday. It's like a pumpkin spice cake thing. I like mini cafes here because they give you extra shot with your coffee in case you want it stronger. <laughs> that was hard to pour and do at the same time. Part of the cup when you put it in there. I think it's part of the cup. That scared me. I thought there was something in there. I've just been educated. We are in Gwanghamun Square. Um, it's some big important square for political movements. Um, Statue of the King. Which king? Sejun the Great? Yeah. He invented the Korean language. Well, yeah. The, the modern. Korean language. I know that about him. Is that why he's the great? Yeah. He's from the Joseon period. Um, and that's the extent of my knowledge. Joseon period was from 1300s to 500 years later or something. And it's pretty much everything you think of Korea when you think of the cool old that, stuff. That's the general. That's some kind of general. He's the one that has the famous ships. The turtle ships. The famous turtles. Yeah. This general introduced turtles to Korea. Oh. How did this move? Something is everywhere. What's everywhere? Um. Korea. Korea is everywhere. King of Hangul. Look at it, he's gifting it to everybody. Teach me the language. Make it easier for me. I think this is the entire alphabet, right? I think it is, because the triangly one, that's not in use mean, anymore. What do you mean you think it is? You don't know that. I do, because I've learnt it before. It's like most of it. But the triangly one is not in use and the circle with the line on top is not in use, right? Yeah. I think there's one more, isn't there? Yeah, that one all the way over here. I know that. It must have just, much like English alphabet, some letters just disappeared. There's a museum of the story of King Sejon, but I think it's closed. Correct, it's open. Is that a real throne? No. Is that right to take my shoes off? No. Oh, that was like a real throne or something. I just want to make sure it doesn't get damaged. Oh, that was a real throne. That was King Sejong's real throne. So now, this is the story of King Sejong giving the language. As he said, these people cannot write the characters even though they have hands and can't read the characters even though they have eyes. And here's creating the language even though there's conflict with China. It's okay because there's a movie about it all. So this will help me learn. This is really dramatic. He is the king. That is the greatest 
bit of propaganda <laughs> and <laughs> Kate's gonna write his name in Korean. Then his beautiful writing. This is the cool totally ship thing. Cool. We get to go in the ship. I was about to say that. Everyone was so small back then. I don't know what these cannons are gonna do, but I don't think they're gonna really do any damage. This kid asked her dad, how did they how did they go to the toilet? And he's like, they just put in the ocean. And the ship is this big and they're by fighting little ships like that. Yeah, it's a bit of an unfair matchup. <laughs> cool swords. The heck, that thing's like two meters long. I think it's the Admiral's actual sword. I learned that King Sajin is the greatest guy in the world thanks to my movie and that Admiral Yi is probably about as tall as his statue because his sword was gigantic. Now we are walking towards this giant gate. Wang Ha Moon Gate? Yeah that's the one we were getting confused with. Yeah. Some of the other smaller gates. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up well. It probably does. You can see the top of the mountain in the background how hazy it is today. The air quality is terrible. So we've been wearing a mask all day. There's a big old wall behind me. So it's really hard to get a good shot of the gate. Because you have to be like directly under it. Apparently you're getting for free if you're wearing a hundred. Yeah, which kids didn't want to do. No, I'd rather pay the 3,000 won. This one is the Guanzhongzhong gate. I failed. Yeah. This is one of the other gates. There seems to be many as you go through. This one is the hall. Uh, I don't know much information about this place. The palace was built in 1395 and it was destroyed in 1590 something by the Japanese and then it got restored in shopping we took a shopping break we got one of these it's a mini wooden little figurine I mean not figurine thing that you make it was cute yeah, we're just leaving the <coughs> pavilion area and we're walking up towards a shrine or something we just ate a red bean bread because I was getting hungry uh, I don't know much to say about this place because I don't know anything about it I'm just sort of taking it in quite impressive. What I like about this place is like the mountains that are just surrounding it. Uh, makes you feel really secluded yeah. even though there's like thousands of people. Thousands? Thousands of people. Hundreds. Hundreds of thousands of people. 
So this must be the shrine, I guess. It's not much information out this way, it's just like lots of open gates and doors you can walk through and get a little bit lost. And if you remember from the other night, we were we were right up there at Namsan Tower. The new and the old. This is the uh, National Folk Museum of Korea. It's uh, free to enter. I think we're just going to have a quick look because we still have a couple more things we want to do. But let's have a quick look. This is going to be an absolute whirlwind tour of the museum. Tinja. We've seen that. I think they made kimchi in these jars. Yeah. These are Preserving food. It's kimchi. They have this year of the rabbit exhibition, which actually ends tomorrow. So we got pretty lucky to go see this, actually. Oh. That is a creepy rabbit. Oh, that thing is cool. What is it? The alpha in rabbit shoe. Mm. It's the the moon bunny thing. You do that in Maple Story. Rabbit cookbook. How to cook rabbit. Yeah. And these are folk tales. It's telling us about how rabbits live on the moon. That's what they believed. What the hell is this? Is this some weird Korean folk thing? We are in the Bukchon Hanok village. It's kind of just like in amongst everything. I was expecting like the one we saw in Jeonju a bit more. I don't really like this area because you're sort of walking lots of people's homes and it's just a bunch of like tourists walking around having a look and I feel a bit awkward and I actually kind of want to leave because I don't really like it. Story of our trip so far on a waiting list for dinner. It's yeah. quite a fancy table set up. We came into this. We got makgeolli too. That was very hard to order because there were options. Let's pick one. So fancy looking. And our food has come out. We got pusam, which is steamed pork, kimchi, and the makgeolli. Which Keith Shaw can but I don't think he was supposed to. Mm, yeah, that one's yours. <laughs> no, it's yours. <laughs> no, I'm good. Good afternoon. It's uh, been a few days since we vlogged. I can't remember how the last one ended. I th I think we said we were going to go to Insadong, but we didn't end up going. It is now Thursday and we are planning on going to Nongdaemun Market tonight. Just got done watching the first game of the World Baseball Classic, Australia vs Korea, where Australia won, which is really exciting. And now we're about to go outside to Nongdaemun Market. I'm not sure whether you can tell, but if you remember previous vlog footage that our hotel room had a good view of the mountains, uh, you actually can't see the mountains out there at the moment. The air quality is uh, unhealthy at the moment, it says on the app. It's like really bad. It's probably the worst it's been. So we're going to mask up. We're here at the market. This is fake designer bags. They could be real. No, they're definitely fake. And it smells like food everywhere. It's kind of cool. Oh, yummy. You did say you wanted a Patagonia hoodie. Yeah, it's so weird. We're actually here for a reason, because we're trying to find some brass like tableware and stuff like that. It's like a traditionally thingy and it's quite expensive but apparently there's a place here that specializes in it and we're gonna have a look at it and see how much it costs. Turns out we were right here all along. No mind. Turns out the place is closed. Oh, I just want to see what the prices are because they look so cool. So we're just gonna have a walk around. We think it might be open because it says online that it is but we'll come back and see. We're inside some building looking at like Korean folk craft or something because we're trying to find something called wedding ducks as we just got married recently there's these ducks that you get apparently these are the ducks this is what we're after wooden ducks apparently this floor is meant to be like folk art but i've seen a lot of pokemon and bts stuff 
We're watching Korean television, the World Baseball Classic, and in the commercial break, they say exactly how long's left before the game starts back up in the break. Plus, his ads are kind of funny. That's our art we bought. Decorating the room. Please select your destination. Please select your departure time. Oh. 5.30? Is it the best? Oh, wait. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Well, you we have to, right? Yeah. Does anyone want to Yeah, we can't split up like that. It's only what, 10 minutes later anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, wow, we're gonna have to sit. Okay. This is our ticket to Kunsan. Um, Put you have an hour to wait, we're hoping to go on one a bit sooner. But, uh, what can you do? Oh my god, this bus terminal has a hug and dust vending machine. It does look nice. my pillow, a bag of rocks. This is now the line for the bakery we went to. That's this old railway track. I can see the railway track. Don't show the kids. No. My auntie said the railway tracks are gone. But they were once here. Squid game. Tell the vlog about what happened after lunch. I successfully paid for lunch. Against an old Asian lady. She was very pushy about it though. I had to assertively tell the cashier lady that this is the one you're paying with, not that one. And I had to go like this and block her away. But I won. I'm not sure where this park is. Sally's auntie just took us out here. But it's kind of pretty, lots of camping grounds, we're near the ocean, and there's Sally and her auntie. Do you know what this place is yet? No. Does it have a name? Yeah, probably. What's the name? Somewhere in Korea. We're posing for photos. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the ocean. <laughs> Knew I could smell the sea. Need to exercise before the photo. <laughs> I think we're climbing up that. It's the Janghang Skywalk we're going up. And it costs 2000 to go up. There's English. Jung Hung Recreational Pine Forest and Skywalk. Cool. Up we go. Apparently, there's Wi Fi in these trees. Korea has Wi Fi everywhere. Ooh, that was quite the walk. A lot of people are scared of walking on this. It's okay, it's safe. I feel okay, and I'm scared of heights. On top of the skywalk now, and same height as these trees. We've got a nice view of the ocean. China, that way, I think. I have nothing to say, it's just a view of the ocean. Well, we made it to the end. It's the ocean. 
And that way is the forest. <laughs> the romantic road of Korea. Information. The squirrel call. Can't complain, we've had pretty good weather so far. It's not so bad. Yeah, it's our first day of rain, that's okay. It will make for cool photos. Where are we? We're in Sedong. We're trying to find a cafe down these streets. It's still Christmas in Korea in March. They do like vegan versions of regular Korean food. We get to order on this cool machine. This restaurant's also really cool because you can um, ask it with my onion and garlic, which is good for people. We know a friend. Good for people. Well, I was gonna say, we know somebody who can't eat onion and garlic, and that's really good. I think it's a very um, Buddhist thing that you can't eat onion and garlic. Supreme Master Television, constructive programming for peaceful world, be vegan, make peace. It's really like a vegan sundubu. Vegan full gogi. Vegan sides. It's a shop that just sells slippers. The fashion beyond the living. This is a pretty funky little street we're in. It's full of like arts and craft places. It's where you can make your own things everywhere. So we ordered a green plum tea and the rice cake set. 15,000 won. This place is so cute. We're sitting on the floor by the window. This cool. Oh, there's a garden out there. We're sitting with this wooden table on the floor and it's warm. Now it's freezing. The floor is warm. Very nice. It's arrived. Here are the rice cakes. This is a mugwort rice cake and then sweet potato, no, sweet pumpkin and this is our tea mm. it's like bitter oh, and really? sour but sweet so I always carry around wipes because this boy always spills on him he dripped honey onto his beard and now it's dripped onto his jumper like a child <laughs> Look at the ground. <laughs> what you do? Elbow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just came out of this store back here, and we got these fun things. It translates to yokan. It's like a bean and sugar um, bar thing, jelly thing. Cold. They said it spoils easily and you have to eat it straight away or refrigerate it. We got two. We got a red bean one and a milk tea. Which one's this? Red bean. Red bean. I've had this stuff before. Is it's it like, nice? Mmm. Like sweet but not too sweet. Mm. It's like that. But I think we had once. Oh, the thing, the hiking thing. The hiking thing, <laughs> like that. Mm, I see. 
show it. It's like a jelly type texture. Mm. Mm. we have roasted chestnuts freshly roasted they're hot, so hot and yummy it's so cold today it's 5 34 we're back at the hotel and i never showed you guys what i got at Insadong in the little um, arts and crafts shop section i got this little patch at this shop where you could like customize up little bags and things and then I got these stickers little Korean cats super cute Oh no. Oh no, it's falling apart. This is the Chonju Pibimbap burger. It looks absolutely nothing like the picture. It's got a rice patty, I mean bun instead of bread. Oh. This looks messy. Oh yeah, it's already breaking. <laughs> Good thing I'm like kneeling down so I can just put my face straight into it. Oh, it's sticky. Oh, no. No? Mmm. What's it taste like? The rice tastes like peeping back because it's like got good young. You know, like a burger patty on it? Like an egg? No. An egg? Yeah, it's not an egg. It's like a fried egg. Lettuce. Mmm. It doesn't really work. Can you pick it up and feed me? I want to try it. <laughs> the rice bit's okay. Mm. It doesn't go with the burger though, does it? No. Oh well. 